What's going on YouTube? Starns built. Got another episode of the GX390 powered Tau Tau go-kart. Um, if you watched my other video, you heard me mention that I was not going to be driving this thing until I got the axle reinforced and that I had bent this axle and I had to take it off and I put it in my press and I, I pressed it back into back into shape. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but damn, is it close. And I don't want to have to do that again. So... I'm going to be adding two bearings on the, I mean, as far out as I possibly can on the axle. I mean, the wheel hub is going to butt right against that right there. So what parts am I using? <clears throat> so in case you don't know, uh, this is a Tao Tao buggy. Uh, Tao Tao is a Chinese manufacturer. So everything on this damn thing is metric, including the axle. Um, there's no keyway. It's splined. I mean, it's, well, that's not the point of the video, but I just want to let you know what I'm dealing with. So... These bearings, so I got the bearings, the axle bearings and the flange jets. Uh, I believe I got them from BMI Cars. Um, now the bearings are for a Yerf Dog Spider Box go-kart that uses a 25 millimeter axle. Um, so that got me what I needed. Of course, you know, to my heavy, I mean, I'm talking about heavy annoyance. This axle has got to be stepped down in three different places. I mean, look at it. If you look right here, how fat the axle is. And then by the time it gets out here, I mean, I don't really know what the diameter is, is right here. I haven't measured it, but I know it's less than 25 because there's a slight step right there that goes up to 25. You can barely feel it with my finger. So I know it is, is it's probably like a damn millimeter. I mean, seriously, it's small. Didn't know this at first. I didn't realize there was a step there. Um, so yeah, so I had to make some very, very thin spacers to put between the axle and the bearing to make up that space to give me the tight fit that I wanted because I, I, I'm I, I'm not dealing with slop period no slop so here I'll show you the stuff I use let me bog you out welcome to my trash can see this stuff I mean it's a uh, I believe it's called they call it shim material I mean it's like ultra thin makes that cool noise so I cut me out some strips wrapped it around the axle and uh, that's how I got, that's how I took up that space in there. But anyway, so, um, I got the bearings and the flange jets. That was a kit. I didn't come with the bearing hangers. These are made. I made these, uh, it's simple to make these. I mean, literally it's just drilling a hole. And then cut the slot across the bottom right there so the uh, axle can slide through it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like an A-arm. Or it's going to look like A-arms back here. So I had to make this piece here. And it's going to go right there. You can see that right there. It's going to go right there. And it's going to give me a nice square edge to weld onto. And what am I welding there, you say? I already pre-cut these pieces earlier, so... But anyway, so I'm just I'm gonna be welding just like this right here. One there, and then one right there across the bottom, and that's gonna make up the rear part of the uh, the reinforcement. Now the the forward part up here. Think about running a bar just from here to here. Um, now as far as the bottom one goes, yeah, I don't know. I still gotta enter the staring uh, and think phase on those and figure out what I'm gonna do. I may have to build some sort of piece that comes down and then weld to it i don't know we'll get to there but right now what we're focused on is getting these pieces welded and then getting these pieces welded on so um give me one second we're gonna weld these pieces together let me prep the steel get it ready for welding and i'll come back to you with how it looks stay tuned all right guys you can see i got that uh got that back piece on there so it gives me a square edge oh i can feel that heat Woo! anyway so now let's move on to welding these pieces on there <clears throat> like i said it's gonna go hold on get it right it's gonna go about something like well you get the idea so let me get these on there and uh we'll be right back all right guys I finally got my bars on here. So, 
thinking about maybe doing something decorative right in here. I don't know. We'll see. But um, but that's it. I mean, and uh, let me just zip up the other side, and uh, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys. There's the tack job for now. And then um, I'll get it fully welded in place. Uh, got dark on me. Yeah, it took a little while to get that lined up, but it's on there. Yeah, I got real dark on me. I apologize about that, guys. So, um, obviously, I'm going to have to continue this tomorrow. And then tomorrow, what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to work on this part right there. Yeah, so that's the next step. So, all right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. What's up, guys? Back at it again. <clears throat> Through the magic of camera, we are now three days into the future. And in the meantime, uh, I've been in the stand and stare phase, just trying to think of the best way to do this uh, for two things, form and functionality. So here's what I came up with. What I'm going to do is basically the same thing I did back here where I just made a square edge uh, that I could weld some of these bars onto. So um, I've already made my, my CAD design. And uh, it's just going to fit right here. I mean, I hope you can see that. But it's going to go right there. And it's going to give me a nice square edge to weld onto. Um, it will make some new bars and stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those sliced out of some steel. Uh, here's, what I'm, here's what I use. I have this giant piece of angle iron. Uh, probably, I think that's quarter inch thick. <clears throat> Got my design drawn on there. Uh, so let's get this uh, sliced out of here and we'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, it's me. Ta-da! Woo! Still kind of warm. Woo! Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, it's just how it looks. Here's how it looks. Ow, that's warm. Oh gosh, that's warm. <sighs> yep, my glove. Alright. Let's hold on. Okay. Better. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Might help if y'all could see. Say, hey, Brian, get it together, pal. So that's what I'm thinking here. Give me some square edge just to uh, weld to. So let me go slice up another one for the other side before I weld this on there, and then we'll get them welded. Alright guys, <clears throat> I got my pieces cut for both sides, uh, let's see, I had to chant for that one a little bit, do another test fit, let's see, come on Brian, get everybody in focus here dude, come on dude, alright, there's that side, I'll leave that right there, let's go see what I gotta do to this side to get the fitment good, one thing I noticed is, 
the uh, quality control in China is not real good. So <laughs> this is probably a different angle than the other side. But oh, oh, oh look here. I'm going to have to cut this piece off. Let me do that. All right, guys. I'm digging that fit up. So let me uh, let me break out the old electric gluer, and uh, we're gonna get it glued on. Be right back. It is electronically glued. Oop, glitch, glitch. So I'm happy with that, I guess. What I will do at the top up here, I'll take my grinder and I will deck all this down to give it a little bit more of a fit and finish. Because that appeals to my OCD side and that would drive me crazy. So yeah, uh, let's go glue the other side on. And um, yeah, let's go do that. All right. I'm gonna have to hold this one, I think. <clears throat> Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Like right there. Gonna be the spot. that glued on front and back so now now what I want to work on is getting the I guess the front part of the a arms so I'm gonna cut it out of the same stuff I cut this out of which I don't know is that quarter inch what do y'all think I don't know maybe a little less all right so these are these are one inch wide and I don't know how long they need to be yet let me uh let me get my old tape measure out here, and we're going to figure that out. What's up, guys? <clears throat> I just want to point out that I'm using a different camera than usual. I usually use my, my phone, but now I've gotten this old Fuji film camera that I used to use when I sold on eBay. And uh, so I'm trying to see, trying it out, see how it works. Uh, to me, when I play the video back, it sounds like the audio is kind of weird, but um, we'll see. I'm just going to keep rolling. So let's measure these things. Looks like I can probably do seven and a half. Seven and a half. That's what we gonna do. So <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and get these welded. Go ahead and get them welded. Right like that, right there. All right, let me get set up with the other camera and uh, we'll get that on film. Let's see. All right, folks.
It looks good. I'm about as happy as a flea at a dog show right now. That turned out real nice. Hey, sweet pea. Daddy. Yes, him. What are you chewing on? Watch this. Okay. You're gonna blow a gasket, Vivi. Nice. All right, I'm gonna film this, okay? All right. <laughs> That's my little sweet pea. Yeah, this turned out pretty good. Um, I'm real happy with it. Got a nice look from the buttocks angle, doesn't it? Yeah, turned out pretty good. So now, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna enter the stare and, and, and think phase again and uh, figure out, cause I know that I got strength up and down. I just worry about the side to side. I mean, I guess it should be all right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me just being paranoid, but I feel like I need to run something from here to here or something, I don't know. I don't know. I think it turned out good. Let me put the wheels on there real quick. Yeah. Definitely gives it a different look, doesn't it? Boy, I am feeling that. I am feeling that. <laughs> 